Welcome back to our channel. This is Akio. Today I'm going to show you how to create a tool to change the ring size easily in Grasshopper. Let's get started. For this model, we will create a design on a plane, create a surface, and design will flow on the surface. And then ring size will change when we make a change of this surface. Let's start with a circle. You see the circle on top construction plane. It is lying down. The plane should be XZ. When the XZ plane connects to the circle, the circle stands up. Then we need to set the diameter of the ring. Circle component needs radius and we will use a value list to set the diameter which can contain different ring size I have a chart of the ring size so copy and paste to the value list so here is the ring size so if we connect to here, that is all the diameter. So we have to divide it to 2 to change it to radius. So division, I will change the name to 2 and set the integer to 2. And a, which is a diameter, divided 2, equals the radius of the circle. Now you will see how the circle updates when you change the number on the value list. Get a move component and move this to the y direction. So see, as soon as I connect, the circle is trying to move to the z direction. So we need to the y direction. Here is a number slider for the width of the ring. So I will do 12 millimeter to let's say 17. I will divide this width and connect to the y vector. I will reverse the vector. Now I went to the minus direction and then extrude extrude this circle it will extrude to the y direction to the width of the ring. Look how you can change the width of the ring with number slider. I have an extruded ring design on the top construction plane. So this is a Rhino model. I will bring it to the grasshopper. Got a brep and set one brep. And then I will flow this design on this surface. So I need a surface move and connect the geometry and the reference. When we use this surface move, always need to put the geometry in a container. It's called bounding box. Disable the preview. And then the surface. In order to flow this object on the surface, we need to reparameterize the surface. So in a surface, right click to reparameterize. Reparameterize means instead of the actual size of the model, 
we will set u and v of a surface from 0 to 1. It's like a setting a surface in percentage 0 to 100% instead of actual size of the model. So it needs domain for these parameters. Let me shorten components. I will set the number slider to 0 to 1. Make copies for V and W. And connect to surface move. So of course this surface goes to the surface. And here is the ring. We need to do some modification here. So this W will be the actual size in millimeter. So we need to edit the number slider for actual thickness of the ring. So now you can change the size. It is set to five and a half. You can do size nine. Also, you can change the width of the ring. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you are new to Grasshopper and wanted to learn more about it, I teach live online class, Introduction to Grasshopper. Schedule can be found on this website. I will see you in the next video.